The Secretary of State's office has said it has more than 250 open investigations related to the November election, but one organization is defending itself after the state accused it of illegally registering college students to vote. 11 Alive's Latasha Givens spoke to the founder. Paul Heller says he was in constant contact with the Secretary of State's office when he was creating Operation New Voter Registration because he wanted to make sure he did everything correctly. But he says to this date, he has not heard directly from anyone from the office indicating he did anything wrong. He says he found out he was being investigated after a public press conference. Back on November 30th at the Secretary of State's office press conference, the office said it was investigating four voter groups for potential fraud. Vote this way and then flip back. And that was followed up by this press release naming the organizations. Operation New Voter Registration, founded by Paul Heller, is one of them. The Secretary of State's press release states, quote, Operation New Voter Registration encouraged Emory students to register fraudulently to vote in the January 5th runoffs. A flyer from the group told students that, quote, your current residence can be another state. You're simply changing your state of residence now, and it can be switched back for future elections. How did you find out that the Secretary of State's office was investigating your group for potential voter fraud? What, what's your response to that? Okay, my response to that is we abided by the letter of the law. Heller defends the work he and his volunteers did getting thousands of millennials registered to vote for the runoff elections. Out-of-state college students have the right uh, to either vote uh, in their home state or in Georgia where they're attending college. I didn't, the funny thing is I didn't write these laws. These laws were written back and pioneered by Georgia in um, in 1990. 11 Alive's legal analyst Paige Pate says it all comes down to intention. If you don't have the intent to stay in Georgia, you should not register to vote in Georgia. But if this organization is suggesting to students that you can flip flop your registration just to get past the runoff election, that is incorrect. We reached out to the Secretary of State's office to find out the status of these investigations and if the list had grown or if any organization had been cited. No word on that yet, but Pate says charges are not likely in these cases. He says the announcement of these investigations are usually more of a verbal warning. Again, we did reach out to the Secretary of State's office. When we hear back, we'll certainly post that for you on 11alive.com.